While the Michigan Wolverines have been putting together a perfect season on the gridiron and positioning themselves as favorites for a national championship, their vaunted program has simultaneously been upended by allegations of an illicit sign-stealing operation that stretches back multiple years. Michigan is currently under investigation by the NCAA, the staffer at the center of the scandal has been suspended by the school, and the college football world is waiting with bated breath to see what comes next in this wild saga. So what's going on here exactly? And could this scandal affect the Wolverines' national championship run? Let's take a look. Sit back, relax, and take this in. Sign stealing is hardly a new practice in college football or elsewhere in the sports world. Just ask the Houston Astros. But the NCAA does have rules in place to keep sign stealing in check, and Michigan allegedly flouted those rules, shaking up college football in the process. As the Big Ten Conference confirmed, the NCAA is currently investigating allegations that Michigan sent individuals to scout their opponents' games in person, which has been illegal in the NCAA since 1994. Furthermore, Michigan then had their scouts videotape those opposing coaches relaying their play calling signs to their players, which is also an explicit no-no. The Michigan staffer at the center of this controversy? Connor Stallions, an analyst and Michigan native who reportedly bought tickets for more than 30 games at 12 of the 13 possible Big Ten schools over the last three years. He also reportedly bought tickets for games at four non-conference schools, all of whom were either in contention for the college football playoff or were playing teams in contention for the CFP. Stallions then allegedly forwarded those tickets to a network of individuals who would illegally scout those games for the Wolverines and record the coaches of Michigan's would-be opponents relaying signs to the offense and defense. In fact, one former Division III coach told ESPN that Stallions actually paid him to attend games of future Michigan opponents and videotape their sidelines. Stallions has since been suspended by the school pending the results of the NCAA's investigation. And if you're wondering how the NCAA was tipped off about Michigan's alleged scheme, it was an outside investigative firm that notified them. Who hired that outside firm? It's unclear. However, Michigan's alleged sign stealing was something of an open secret within the Big Ten, and certain opponents even changed up their play calling signals in response, none more effectively than TCU in last year's CFP semifinal. And this is the part where I mentioned that the timeline of the alleged sign stealing operation overlaps with an incredible turnaround for the Michigan program. The Wolverines earned their first ever college football playoff berth in 2021, then did it again in 2022, earning a pair of Big Ten championships along the way. And in each of the last two seasons, the Wolverines finished as the AP's third ranked team in the nation, marking the first time since 1999 that they finished in the top five. And they've been even better in 2023. They're a perfect 8-0 so far and have yet to win a game by fewer than 24 points. Meanwhile, they have the best defense in the country, averaging less than six points allowed per game, and they've ultimately held steady as the AP's number two ranked team all season long. But whether the alleged sign stealing contributed to their ongoing glow up is ultimately irrelevant from an investigative and judicial perspective. What matters now is who besides Stallions was involved in this alleged scheme and what happens if slash when the growing pile of evidence leads to a quote unquote guilty verdict. Well, for his part, Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh has denied any knowledge of the sign stealing operation and said that he never directed anyone or was aware of anybody else directing anyone to illegally scout or videotape opponents. That said, under NCAA rules, Harbaugh, as the head coach, could be held responsible for a violation committed by a member of his staff. And remember, Harbaugh is already facing charges from the NCAA for an alleged recruitment violation and a subsequent refusal to cooperate with league investigators, conduct that earned him a three-game suspension from Michigan. Not the NCAA, Michigan. All of that is to say that even if investigators conclude that Stallions operated alone, Harbaugh could still pay the price. And given his history, that price could be steep. And in a way, Harbaugh is already facing consequences. According to the Wall Street Journal, the Wolverines have rescinded the contract offer they recently extended to him, a contract that would have made him the highest paid coach in the Big Ten. But if you're wondering if these alleged infractions will cost Michigan their shot at another CFP berth or potentially a national championship, the answer is probably not. The CFP selection committee isn't technically allowed to factor these allegations into their rankings, and it's extremely unlikely that the NCAA reaches a decision and dispenses a punishment before the season ends. After all, 
The NCAA still hasn't wrapped up its other Michigan case, which is tied to recruiting violations from the COVID dead period of 2020. Besides, even if they concluded their sign stealing probe imminently, Michigan would still have 90 days to respond to the notice of allegations. In other words, the national championship game would be over and done with long before Michigan has to respond. At this point then, the only way Michigan's season could be derailed is if the Big Ten steps in and administers its own discipline, which is possible but seems unlikely. Given the breadth of this alleged scheme, it's doubtful the Big Ten or the NCAA could even conclude their investigations before the season ends. But perhaps more importantly, the Big Ten has a vested interest in not derailing Michigan's season. After all, 17 million people tuned in to see Michigan play Ohio State last year, making it the most watched regular season game of 2022. The Wolverines are one of the biggest draws in college football and a major cash cow for the Big Ten. Banning Michigan from the Big Ten Championship game or the CFP would certainly send a message, but do you think the conference overlords, who have a fiduciary responsibility to their broadcasting and corporate partners, are willing to stomach the cost? I wouldn't bet on it. Ultimately though, this controversy is gonna linger over the Wolverines and college football for the remainder of the season. And no matter what the NCAA ultimately determines, Michigan is likely gonna have to wear the stain of the scandal for a long time.